This distance learning tutorial shows you how you can bring the game show Deal or No Deal to your students while at home during Zoom meetings. With the opportunity for contestants to win big prizes, Deal or No Deal can be very exciting. This online version offers a 7 out of 26 chance to win a prize of $100,000 or more. Of course it's not real money unless you're a contestant on the TV show. The focus of this tutorial is on averaging the cash value of all the remaining cases and comparing that value to the banker's offers. Students may practice using this strategy of averaging to help them determine between good offers and bad offers. Let's see how it pans out for me. I chose to hold on to case number 17 and I chose case number 26 at random and it had $500,000. Each time I open a case, I'll subtract that amount from the total cash value of all the remaining cases. But wait, let's go back to see what the total cash value is of all 26 cases. Over $3,418,000. Throughout this tutorial, I keep track of this average in the upper left hand corner. I didn't get off to a very good start losing $500,000 right away. And then, in my second case, I lost $750,000. It really doesn't matter the order that you choose these cases, but what does matter is that you subtract that amount from the total and come up with a new average. This way, you'll be prepared to determine whether or not the banker has offered you a good deal or not. You can see that so far, most of the cases that I've selected have come from the right hand side. And unfortunately, those cases are the higher dollar amounts. So I already expect that the banker is going to give me a low offer. However, I have been doing the math and I know that the average is over $87,000 per case. So I didn't accept her offer because the offer was not even $20,000. Since I'm doing the math each time they open a case, you can see that the average is changing. Take a look at it in the upper left hand corner. Students can help do the math during the game. That way the contestant will be ready to say deal or no deal because they have a timer and they don't give you much time to decide. Deal or no deal. Looks like they give you 12 seconds and the clock is ticking. This offers just a little bit more than $37,000, but I know that the average case holds over $93,000. So I turn the offer down because it's not a good offer. Statistics show that contestants who don't make a deal and hold on to their case win far less than those who make a deal. Though I wouldn't always recommend it, this time I will not take an offer and I will choose to take the other case at the very end. My math tells me that a good deal would be approximately $118,000 and their deal is only about $62,000. So again, I'm not going to take the deal. Oh, very brave. Time for the next round. Each time I open a case with a lower dollar amount, the average increases, Excellent. which would make for a better offer. Excellent. Or no deal. Since I just opened up quite a few cases with low dollar amounts, the banker's offer has increased quite a bit. It's still about $60,000 lower no than the average, the so I chose not to take the it. Round. The higher values and the lower values are starting to even out, so the probability is about equal. The numbers have really improved for me. Now the average is over $217,000, but the offer is still around $140,000. Plus, I said that I was going to play this all the way through without accepting an offer. And I don't recommend that you always do that, because accepting an offer usually wins the contestant more money. Now the average is up to about $260,000 and the offer is up to over $175,000. Considering I was off to such a bad start, if this were a real game and I was on the television show and this were real money, I would have probably taken that offer of $175,000, which means I would have never even got to have seen this offer of $220,000. Very brave. Time for the next round.
Now the average is up to over $430,000 and the banker's offer is over $287,000. Oh, very brave. Time for the next round. Excellent. Deal or no deal. Now the average is over $500,000 and the banker's offer is over $300,000. I would likely take this deal because I would hate to walk out of here with less than a thousand dollars. Statistics also show that taking the other case earns the contestant more money on average. I took a huge risk and I didn't accept any of the offers along the way and the big move that worked out for me in the end was selecting the other case. It had a million dollars in it. This is a great challenge for your math students. They're gonna love it.